What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to install a new blogger theme on your blog. So if you come into the blogger dashboard here, one of the things you're gonna see on the left-hand side is theme. And if you come over here, it's gonna show your current theme. And if you scroll down, you can easily switch to some of bloggers other themes. Now, one thing you might wanna do is download a theme from another website and use it on your own blog. So that's what I'm gonna go over today. So two different sources where you can get free blogger templates. The first one is btemplates.com. So if you come here, there's a lot of different free blogger templates and you can look at all of them. You can click on demo here to see the way they're gonna look if you use them on your own blog. Now, the other thing you can do is if you see one that you like, you wanna click on download here. So for this example, I'm gonna download this theme right here, Gridster, so I'm gonna click on download. It's gonna open up a page that looks like this. So if you come to btemplates.com, download a theme, it's gonna open up the specific page for that theme. You scroll down and you're gonna click on the free download link right here. So we'll click on that. And now we have our first theme downloaded. So the next thing we wanna do is I wanna show you how to use another template as well and give you another source. So another one that's good is templates.com. I'll put both of these links in the video description, but here you can see a lot of different free blogger templates. So there's a lot of really good ones on this website. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna use this Amia one right here. So you're gonna click here and open up Amia in a new page, and you're gonna see this page like this, and what you're gonna do is click on download to download this theme as well. So what it's gonna download is different zip files to your computer. So now what we're gonna to have to do is unzip them and then install the theme onto Blogger. Okay, so if we open up the folder with the two different themes here, what we can do is we can take this first one and we're gonna extract both of these zip files. Okay, now we'll extract Amia as well. So we'll extract this one here. And then what we can do is we'll start in this Amia folder. So we open this one and what you're gonna be looking for is this XML document. So you're gonna see Amia XML document or whichever theme that you download. And now what we wanna do is we wanna come over to Blogger and this is how you install a new theme on your Blogger website. So you're gonna come over here to backup and restore and it's gonna say download a backup of your theme or what you can do is upload a theme from a file on your hard drive. So we're gonna click on choose file here. So we're gonna come into this folder with Amia and what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click this right here. And then what we're gonna do is click on upload. Okay, so we got an uploaded successfully message and you can see it changes the theme here. So if we come over to our blog, this is the theme we're currently running. This is actually the Gridster theme. So what you can see is if I reload the page, it's gonna refresh with this brand new blogger theme that we just installed, Amia. So you can see if we scroll down here, it's a little bit different than my other one, but it just gives you another way to install different themes on your blog and see what works best. So some of the themes that are offered by Blogger aren't really the greatest. They kind of look like old website, old blogs, things from five, 10, 15 years ago that people used to run. So what you wanna do is find some of these free Blogger templates. And now let's just say I don't like this theme. What I wanna do is I wanna switch back to the grid store that I was using. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to Backup Restore again. We're gonna come into Choose File again. Okay, so we open up our grid store folder now and you're gonna see another XML document, grid store. So we're just gonna double click that one and we're gonna click on Upload and it's gonna change our theme back. Now what I would highly recommend doing is sticking to the theme that you really like because what you're gonna see is when you do change your theme, so if I come back over here and we come to the top and I refresh this page, it's gonna change my logo again. So it's gonna change some of the things back that we were already running on our website. So I had a custom logo here. It changed it back to this Amia logo. So what I would recommend doing is finding a theme that you really like and continuing to customize that theme because when you come over here to Blogger, it doesn't work as well as WordPress, where you can upload some different themes and kind of keep everything the same. So once we click on Customize here, we're gonna have to go back and change some of the things that we customized in the past. So what you wanna do is find a theme that you really like, install it on your blog, and then just continue using that theme over the course of time. If you really find you don't like a theme, it's not the end of the world, you can always switch it, but what I would recommend doing is finding the theme that you really like, installing it on your blog, and using some of these websites to find some of these really more professional looking blogger themes. So if you have any questions about installing a blogger theme, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.